Summer Youngs. I was adopted in 1980 with my biological sister in uh, Marathon, Wisconsin. I was six years old and my sister was eight years old. I don't have any memories of Korea. But my sister was eight uh, years older. She remembers everything about the family. She says that she remembers like washing clothes by the river and then she remembers uh, seeing our mom and dad and also um, our sister. The reason I was put up for adoption is my um, uh, mom and dad, they were not married. My dad was married to this woman and they have four kids of their own. And then my, then his wife passed away and my mom was the housekeeper and they fell in love and had three daughters. Uh, because he was growing ill, he decided to give my sister and I up for adoption. I think I was um, traumatized because I don't have any memories of what happened. And my adopted mother said that as a child, I used to have seizures. But the doctor said due time that he would go away. And so um, I don't have any more seizures anymore. The city I was um, raised in was population 1,400, so there was not much diversity, but there was also another family adopted a Korean kids too, but I don't feel like I was close to them because I think I was trying to fit in with the um, uh, Caucasian family. With my um, adopted parents, I did feel like I was very close to them, and and I did things to please them, too, because I was afraid that I was going to be sent back. When I was growing up with my sister, uh, I felt very close to her because she remembered her uh, life in Korea, that she ended up being, stopped being uh, a child, and she ended up being like a mother hen to me. So she would try all American food first, and if she didn't like it, then she'd take it off my plate. And, she, and also she would not let other people touch me either, that she was very like protective. I never thought about uh, Korea when I was growing up. So I feel like I was uh, very content with the family I have and with well, my life. And I didn't thought about my Korean life until I was age of uh, um, 18. When I moved to Minnesota, and that's when I started to uh, want to reach out and learn about other Korean adoptees. First time I went back to Korea is 2000, and and that was with the Korean Overseas Foundation, and that was the first time I got to see um, Korean adoptees around the world, and that was hosted by the Korean government. And so this one girl and I, all three of us went to the Eastern Orphanage and then services. The, I give him my, I have my case number, so I give it to the social worker and they, she went to the basement and she bought the whole file. And looked at all my information. Uh, information I had was not something new. I only have, it's the same file. And the social worker asked, well, do you wanna look for your family? And I said, yes. And then she goes, when are you leaving? I said, leaving in two days um, back to Minnesota. Then she was at, asking, well, you should have told me because you, you could have met your, sister, your family before you leave. Because um, I have the family registry with my mom and my dad's name on it. And also with all my siblings' names on it. So. When I went back to Minnesota, in three days they found my family. When I uh, found out the news, they told me my parents already passed away. But my, when I got to contact with my sister, I was very happy and um, glad. And also we've been um, contacting through letters, but it was uh, difficult because with the language barrier. But I didn't actually see her until 2004. Then I went back to the second time, and that's what the program called, with Pastor Park called uh, Minnesota uh, 
adoptee ministry, and that's what the, you have to be a Christian to join that organization. And he offers to go back to Korea for free. Everything is paid for. And then when I actually got to see her in 2004, um, she knew that she recognized me right away. And since she was the oldest of uh, um, my sister and I, she remembers everything. And she, she was very um, happy to see me and, they, um, and asked about my other sister. And we were both uh, crying and, and uh, it was a very emotional experience. And um, she told me she was very mad of what happened because my, our father didn't tell her that she was gonna give us for adoption. For some reason, she was gone that day and then when she came back the next day, we were gone. So she was uh, very mad about um, that because she was not told that my, my father didn't tell her that she was gonna do that. I to um, understand when I heard about the circumstances that my dad was getting old and ill, um, that he, he did ask our eldest brother to take, take care of us, and, but he said no. And that was a part of the reason to put us for adoption. I don't feel that, uh, that I met my, uh, my um, uh, biological parents at all. Because it's, I feel, even though we were three sisters, we all both experienced different things. Like my sisters in Korea, um, to see how her life is so told in the eye. Um, uh, when I saw her, she looked like she lives, to American standards, she looked like she lives in a shack. And then, and then my sister who's here with me, she's, uh, her life is not very easy either. Um, she has um, a difficulty and personal problems because she has anger issues. Uh, both my biological and my uh, adoptive parents. And for me, I feel uh, very content because I think the, because I don't have any memories, I think that, I don't know if that really helps, but um, I'm more, I feel like I'm more Americanized. And, and, and so I'm really uh, content, content with the results and, and I, I don't feel any anger towards my uh, adoptive parents. And I feel like I'm fortunate to have uh, the education I have and also, and, and I think I would have been a totally different person if I stayed in Korea and with not having any education and, uh, and with the, um, more difficulty to get just compared to living in America. For um, uh, adoptees, I feel like that um, for Facebook, that's a, a wonderful connection that even though we don't live close to each other, it's a wonderful connect, connection and bond we all have together. And to have that group um, that you could say anything you want and you don't have to worry about you could say anything personal and we all understand. And um, a lot of things I have to say, I wish that I was there when I was, I was growing up because I didn't have anything like that. And, and I had to learn everything by, um, uh, when I came to Minnesota, I had to learn everything about the language and history and, uh, and culture. And so to have that uh, Facebook connection, I think that's just uh, one.